But the other the other thing that that was happening was uh, politics started getting as an actor you had to have a sort of political point of view, and that became part of the part of the uh, requirement of being in the public eye of, of I can, I have this power. And so now I'm going to tell you what I, how to vote and how to think and what to do. And I, I w- fell into that for a while and started this, uh, this group called Young Artists United. And um, the intentions were honorable, which was that we were, we, as young actors, we would present ideas and present all the sides to people and let them decide but it it ended up becoming this other thing where we're presenting one side and this is how it should go and i read this book called amusing ourselves to death and the thesis of that was famous people are ruining america by talking about politics because they're inherently stupid and don't know what they're talking about and i took a hard look at myself. I was like, yeah, I'm not very smart and I have no business talking about this. So I'm going to back out and I left the group. And then the more I sort of deep dove into my beliefs, things started to change. And, and uh, now I just don't talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, was it, uh, was it always so cringy with, with actors um, speaking out? Because, because now, uh, I mean, in particular, the, there was the, um, that video that went out where, I take responsibility. And it was a bunch of Hollywood actors taking responsibility for the, the police shootings of black yeah. men. And it was just like, like we know you literally don't mean you're taking responsibility because you'd be, right. I guess, turning yourself into, to the police. But uh, <laughs> I was actually, I actually shot that guy. Yeah. yeah. I, it was, it was my <laughs> knee on this man, on this poor man's neck and, right. and all that. Yeah. So, yeah. I remember uh, that one. And then, of course, you always have the ones that are just vote, get out there and vote, vote, vote. And, and it's like, well, well, you know who we know who you want everyone to vote for, right. you know? And, yeah. And the singing, this, the singing thing. Oh, uh, the John Lennon. Imagine yeah. Yeah, that was. All. Yeah. I was on a, in 80. Well, oh, when I was shooting summer school, actually, there was a, 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 a proposition, California Prop 61, I think it was, which was the Clean Water Act, which was we should have clean water. Sounds great. So, yeah, that, that's a difficult position to get behind. How about water? So they, can you guys have water first? Like in California, <laughs> exactly. get some of that. So they, uh, and Jane Fonda was behind it and and like big heavy hitters. And they invited me to go on this bus trip and they were sort of recreating the old train things of the forties, the, the, the bond movements in, in the World War II to get the public aware of this. So we took a bus from LA up to San Francisco and we made these stops and people would speak and I, they'd given, given us stacks and stacks of literature about the problems with the water in California and this and that. And, and I read all of it, read all of it and we really knew what was going on. And we'd stop in these places and it was just basically Beatles concert to see your favorites. I mean, it was Michael Fox and Rob Lowe and, uh, Jane Fonda and Peter Fonda and people from Hill Street Blues. Like it was a big deal. And me who had done a couple TV series and no one knew who I was. So these people were speaking and just saying stuff like for like, basically water's good. Dirty water's bad. Thank you very much. Good night. And no nuance, nothing interesting, nothing about the literature. And that was one of the things that really got me thinking, we, we, we shouldn't be doing this. We really shouldn't be doing this. And so the result of that is now you go to a restaurant or anywhere, it's, there's a sticker that says, there are chemicals here that may contain pollutants or carcinogens. That's it. That's all it is. Like some business has to buy this sticker and put it in their, their stupid window. Like that's, that was, that's what we did. Yeah. Rocking. 